Now then my friends, well, I've got a treat for you today, especially if you like steam trains. In fact, if my little lad's watching, James, I've got a treat for you because I am at the Lakeside and Haverthwaite Steam Railway in the Lake District. It is a fantastic place here. Now when you think of trains these days, you probably just think of delays and endless strikes, don't you? But years ago, it was more exciting, wasn't it? Proper steam trains. My lad even calls it a choo-choo train. It's fantastic. I love steam trains. Trains. little model railways I had them all when I was a kid I absolutely love it here you can actually go on the steam railway and you can go to the lakeside you can go to the lakeside take a ferry over to Windermere it's a fantastic place and better still they've got a fantastic cafe here that do a full English breakfast which is what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna go for the full English for a change not gonna go on the train today but you will see the steam train so if you love trains and you love nostalgia then stay tuned my friends if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button click the little bell for notifications of when i upload new videos now without further ado my friends choo choo let's go Right, this is absolutely fantastic here, isn't it? I mean, you know, I, I always talk about nostalgia and I think it's because modern times now, things are probably the most difficult that we've experienced in decades, really, uh, with what's going on in the world. And you look back, and it's nice to look back on nostalgia, like steam trains, etc. I love steam trains. It's just fantastic. When I was a kid I had all the Hornby model railways etc. I think I had a couple of diesel trains on there as well. Nothing wrong with a diesel train though is it to pull some coal along for the steam trains and uh, I just think it's fantastic. I mean you've got as I say Thomas the tank engine etc. My lad loves steam trains. He never mentions modern day trains etc or anything he mentions steam trains he loves it choo-choo trains it's the sound of it as well the tch, 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 tch. it's just fantastic in fact makes the hair stand up on my arm anyway uh, i'm a little bit hungry uh, but uh, they they serve breakfast until 11.30, but they do scones and everything else as well. It is £2.50 to park here, uh, if you want to park here. And also, you can get tickets to go on the train and also on the boat as well. So you can like have a, a double whammy if you want and make a day of it. Right. Oh, look at this. We've got suitcases. Old suitcases as well. Even the old suitcases are better, aren't they, than the modern day plastic ones? Right, <laughs> this is great. Sat next to the steam railway, got my little buzzer here so they'll buzz me when the breakfast comes. 
Oh, I thought I've not ordered an orange juice, but I guess that comes with it. A little orange juice as well. Gone for a latte. Uh, I always ask you this question. Steam train's not coming yet. Now then, tea or coffee with a full English breakfast? Well, I would normally go tea, but I haven't had a coffee this morning. Uh, so I've gone for a latte. Uh, there we go, a little latte there as well. It came to £13.95 in total there. They've got some gorgeous cakes in there as well. Flapjacks, scones as well, so you can have like a little cream tea. Ooh, I, I, was, I, was, I was tempted actually. I thought I'll go for that after as a little, uh, a li as a little, as a little pudding. Where's me pudding? Anyway, I cannot wait for this. I'm looking forward to it. Right, okay, so we've got the breakfast here. It's in a box. I did check, by the way, though, if I'd have eaten it inside, I could have had it on a plate, uh, but it's in a box. I've not actually had a look yet, so this is the first time. Let's open the box. Here we go. Oh, wow, actually, that looks really nice. Yeah, wow. A little bend on the sausage as well. Got my beans there in a little carton, hash brown. Have a look yourself. Take a closer look, my friends. Right, well, there you go. So we've got on here some nice fresh tomatoes. As I say, it was 13 pounds and 95 pence. That include my latte as well. Uh, we've got bacon under there. We've got a, uh, a nice sausage there. Not a standard catering sausage, that proper little bend in that sausage. You know this, in fact, we'll do it. Here we go, the Grange Hill sausage. There you, there you go. Um, Absolutely fantastic. Looks like a quality sausage. And you know, everybody loves a quality sausage. There we go, look at that. Mmm. Oh yeah. That is good. I'm gonna dispense the beans. Here we go, good consistency on the beans. Not too runny. As I say, if you have this inside, uh, then it will be on a plate, but I, just, I thought I'll have it outside. A little alfresco dining. Got the train in the back as well. There we go, let's dispense them beans. Pop that on there. Right, bean test. Good quality bean. Good quality bean that. Right, oh, going for the tomatoes. The squirting juice out of the tomatoes. Now, I do like tin tomatoes, however, these are fresh tomatoes. And the only reason I normally go for tin tomatoes is because with fresh tomatoes, you can get them so they're a bit hard sometimes and not cooked. However, they've cooked these. Mmm. To perfection. Right. Hash brown. Bit controversial, this one. Everybody says it's American, doesn't belong on a full English breakfast, but I don't mind a hash brown. Here we go. Not too greasy. Proper choice of white or brown bread there um, got the eggs there eggs probably a little too yellow for me but if I'd have asked could have had them white over the top there it's only going for the bacon again quality bacon there uh, and not too much fat on it as well that is proper now then here we go yeah good quality bacon got the mushrooms there as well None of them pretentious big portobello mushrooms. Nice, absolutely gorgeous. Gonna um, go in for uh, a little taste of my latte. Good coffee too. Um, 
should have had a tea really, tea goes with breakfast doesn't it, but I did need a bit of a wake up call with the coffee this morning. Uh, and we've got the orange juice as well, there you go, right I shall eat this and um, we'll mark it out of 10, you guys can mark it out of 10 as well on ambiance. I mean come on, we've got a steam train coming in in a minute, got a nice breakfast, got a coffee, it's not raining as yet for British summertime. So this is fantastic, absolutely superb. Now then, Triff, question for you. From when you was a child, there used to be a Hornby railway commercial on television, and um, it had a an actor on it, a very famous actor who's now sadly passed away, and he advertised Hornby Railways. Don't Google it, tell me who it was who advertised Hornby Railways. And he was a little tiny person jumping on the train track from memory. Comments down below. I'll see you in a minute. Hang on a minute. The train's here. How good is this? Look at this. Fantastic. This is great. It's like being on TV, on a TV set, like on the railway children or I don't know, back in the 40s or whatever. What? How fantastic is that? Everybody waving as well. It's brilliant seeing everybody smiling, everybody happy. As soon as the train goes by, they're all waving at each other. It's brilliant. I absolutely love it. Great breakfast in a box and a steam railway in the Lake District. Mm. Right, I'm going to eat the rest of this in peace rather than filming a million different angles and then we're going to go and see the train take off so uh, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> it's brilliant, choo choo! Oh, I tell you what, that was absolutely fantastic. The train is just about to uh, set off. It has started raining now, uh, but it wouldn't be the Lake District uh, if it didn't rain, would it? <laughs> so, um, but they're just about to set off. Fantastic, you've got the steam there. It was really, really good. Now, I've been reading about this breakfast. I've just found the menu, local sausage, local bacon, uh, and also, by the way, it is gluten-free, so, there you go, you can't go wrong with that. Well, I'm gonna give I'm I'm gonna give this a I'm gonna mark this out of ten before we see the train go off. I reckon I'm gonna give this a I reckon it's a solid nine that absolutely spot on. Thoroughly enjoyed it, really did. Um, it's just a brilliant day out, Lakeside and Haverthwaite Railway. Don't go anywhere yet, because we'll watch the train take off and then we'll have a quick look in the uh, train shed as well. Got a fantastic little train shed here as well. Now I used to I used to come here quite a bit when I was a kid, I grew up here and there's a little, um, I've got photos somewhere but I don't think I'm going to be able to find them. <clears throat> there's a little uh, yellow train called Fluff uh, and it was fantastic. As a, as a kid, what more do you want than a steam railway? It's brilliant and there's a, there's a little, I mean I'm a big kid now, but do you know what I mean? I, I just don't want to grow up, I'm like Peter Pan, it's fun. I'm really enjoying it, it's brilliant and uh, I'm bringing my lad here in uh, 
in about a week and a half's time with my uh, little girl, uh, and they'll love it. Brilliant. In fact, my little girl, I'm babbling on now though, I brought her here as well, Harriet, when she was about three years old, and there was a little Thomas the Tank Engine, um, what is it, one of them little toys that you can sit on for £1.50 that go for about a minute which are normally expensive, but you can't say no, can you? Can you go on this, Daddy? Oh, go on then. Let's just go and have a quick look at this train up here because it's, it, it's, it's drizzling, but I don't care. It's fantastic. There's just something magical about it. I mean, even all your old movies like Murder on the Order in Express, Steam trains, wasn't it? You know, the railway children, steam trains. It's just, look at the fire in there, it's fantastic. I'll get under here and gain shelter a little bit. Rain's coming down again. Um, but, you know, I was, steam trains, it's like at Christmas time. I go on the steam trains with my lad and my little girl and Sarah and we go on the, the Santa Express and that's a steam train, the one in Yorkshire. It's just got more magic about it than a, a modern day train, hasn't it? It's the same when I talk about cars and electric cars, etc. and classic cars. You know, there's something more about classic cars than there is modern day cars. EVs and modern day cars, they're all the same, aren't they? Look at the look at the old cars like Ford Capris, etc. They've got style, they've got class, and it's the same with trains. It's just absolutely brilliant. This is a fantastic day out, I've got to tell you. Wow, there you go. <laughs> it just puts a smile on my face. You know when he doo doo, it's brilliant. I cannot wait uh, to bring James and Harriet here. Fantastic. James will love it. There's a fire engine as well. He's a big Fireman Sam fan as well. Fireman Sam. I don't know. He runs around going, Norman Price is in trouble. Norman Price is in trouble. Look at this old fire engine. When you hear that fire alarm, Sam is always cool and calm. I know that, I know how to sing it. Look at these. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to wind the video up here. I've got a full belly now. Fantastic uh, railway man's breakfast and a steam railway in the Lake District. What more do you want? Absolutely fantastic. I'll leave a link to their website in the description down below. And if you want to pop along for yourself, you can actually take the steam train from here at Haverthwaite all the way to Lakeside. Then you can get on a ferry there, which will take you to over, over to Bonass, uh, and then you can come back on the ferry again, get on the train, and then come back here and then uh, collect your car. It's an absolutely fantastic day out for all the family. It really is, and the Lake District is a, it's a beautiful part of the world. And uh, as I say, I grew up here when I was a kid, and I absolutely love it. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Do me a favour. If you did like the video, just give it a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you a penny, and it just does help push it out to YouTube. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you do like the content, hit the subscribe button. Again, it's free, uh, and uh, it'll, uh, put the little bell as well, and it'll tell you when I've uploaded a video, all free of charge. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.